you guys so this is the next part to the episode about my machine that I've been building that I found from Thingiverse so I got I showed you on the just this previous episode a part that I that I was able to get the power supply to turn on using that um pl that PC um plug with the connector that I got that I showed you with the fork connectors on them and what I did I just got in well I didn't just get it in the mail but I just got connected I just connected the stepper the not stepper but the motor controller and plugged it in and uh, you can see here I got my soldering irons these are the TS 100s I believe is what they're called and um so I soldered this 22 gauge wire to the back of the um geared motor you can see I got the negative the positive is on the bottom prong and the negative is on this top prong right here and it is connected using some um, uh, Phillips head. They're really small, thin Phillips head screws that connect the wiring to the um, motor controller. So if I just turn really quick, let me just get my left, my right hand here. If I click over, it'll turn on and you'll see the motor spin. So I'm going to try to get this all in one shot here. I just have to turn. One, two, three. and it's moving now it's not moving super fast it is pretty much all the way up but it's not super fast because it's a geared motor and it's pulling it will have a lot of torque on it which is good and this is all the 3d printed parts that I got from the file from the guy from Thingiverse and I got the skateboard bearings here right here right here and then there's two on the back side if I can show you that, let me just see. They're right behind there, and they're connected to this. Um, these bolts I got from Lowe's many years ago when I was building my really big 3D printer. So I was using skateboard bearings for the movements, kind of like V wheels, but they weren't. They were just on a piece of aluminum, like square pipe. Either way. So since I still had those screws and the bolts and the skateboard bearings, I went ahead and took that controller part for the 3D printer that I was building many years ago apart and resalvaged it for this machine. And you can see that it is turning. It's even spinning this mode, this um, this bolt a little bit. But it's good. It's moving. The skateboard bearing is moving. You can see that the motor or the spool holder is moving everything is moving just fine so I was able to get that all set up next would be just setting up the hot end and the um, bottle, bottle cutter to cut down bottles like that plastic bottle over there and then once it's done once I'm done getting the bottle cutter and everything set up then I should be able to melt some bottles down and turn them into filament so I can use for 3D printing. And that is great because it's recycling, which is helping the planet. And I'm turning something that would have been thrown away and placed in a dump somewhere. I'm actually using it for educational and use useful objects. So... And, and plus it's saving money on buying filament because usually like a spool can go from anywhere to like 11 to like $40 for like a 1k spool of filament so I'm glad that I was able to get at least the motor and the spool holder to spin and it is going in the right direction it's supposed to go clockwise which it is doing it looks like it's kind of going I guess counterclockwise but it's going towards the lot the left which is good because it'll be pulling the filament to pull out all of the plastic bottle basically when it's done melting so that is good i have it set up properly anyway i hope you guys are liking the video please like share subscribe let me know what you think in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye